Hello everyone. We will continue and we will go for few more variations in the program. And in this particular video, we will majorly learn a topic chain operator. Now we will discuss what chain operator is. What is the purpose of chain operator? If I will come on to chain operator, the purpose of chain operator is to combine the statements. We'll go for simple example. I declare three statements. I use the keyword data three times. Can I combine these statements using one single data? Yes. So in that case, what you can do, suppose I'm removing this data. I am removing this data and I am putting a colon here. So what is colon? Colon is your chain operator. Now you are going for combining the statements. So your first statement has not ended. Your statements has not ended. So you have to go for comma here. You have to go for comma here. Now you have to put dot. So with the help of colon, I combine these three statements. So it's your wish how you want to go. So with the help of colon, colon is called as chain operator. So with the help of one single data, we combine these statements. And how we combine? Using the chain operator colon. Now, its purpose is to combine the statement. Suppose. If I will come here, as of now, I am only, only displaying a single data. Suppose I want to display multiple data. Then in that case, compulsory, I have to use colon if I want to go for single right statement. Suppose simple. I want to display like suppose the result is this. So how I will write? I will write the result is and I will put comma. Now you can see you are going for displaying two things. You want to display this also. You want to display this also. So you want to display multiple things. So in that case, definitely you have to use colon here because colon is it is combining the statement. This is our first. This is our second. So with the help of colon only you can display. Now we will go for again revision. Just recall what is this? The result is we have written the result is and we have put into single quotes. Is this a named data object or unnamed data object? This is a unnamed data object. This is sequence of characters, sequence of character. So if this is which type of literal? It is your character literal. So just everything is just a revision what we did in the previous video. Just recall when we covered the topic, unnamed data object, we have character literals and we are giving into single quotes. So this is your character literal. It does not have any name. This is just a value. This is just a content. So this is your character literal. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate the program. So what we studied up to this level, what is the significance of chain operator? If I will read the theory of the chain operator, the chain operator is colon. You can combine the statements. What is one way? You can write first variable. You can write second variable. You can write third variable. But what is the best way? You can write and you can combine these all these things. We combine these three statements into one single statement. Now, I will go for one important point in the right statement. Suppose 
This is our first write statement. Now I am going for one more write statement. Suppose I am writing. Suppose I am writing lv underscore input one. We are displaying the first input also. I am displaying the second input also. So I have written three write statements. This is first write statement. This is second write statement. This is third write statement. So how the result will be? Result is 30. Then it will display 10. It will display 20. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. Now I'm running the program. You can see the result is 30 is coming. But 10 and 20 are coming in the same line, same line. So this is very, very confusing for the end user. See, in the one line itself, everything is displaying. So if you want the output to start from a new line, see, it should come in one line, then it should come in new line, then it should come in new line. So in that case, you have to use slash. You have to use slash. So what is the slash in case of write statement? If, if I will come on to slash, we can use slash in the write statement to denote a new line. In that case, your data will print in the new line widely used operator because otherwise what will happen the output will be very confusing for the end user so if you want to print the data in the new line so you have to use slash in the right statement i'll check the syntax now i will activate the program now i will simply run the program you can see the result is 30 then 10 is printing and then the 20 is printing. Now, if I will read the theory of write and chain operator, you can understand fully. Write is for displaying data on the screen. Suppose just see the example. We have a, we have a number which is of integer type. We have a data object which is of integer type. We have a Another data object character type and the value is Lina. So we are, how the output will be? The number is one. Now they are using slash. It means it will print in the new line. The name is Lina. And you can see this is your character literal, character literal. And you can use slash in the right statement to denote a new line. Anyways, we did the practical part. Now, chain operator is colon. Its purpose is to combine the statements. So these three statements can be combined using this chain operator. And we also use the chain operator while declaring the variable also. So with the help of chain operator, you can combine the statements also. So what is the learning in the last three videos? Because we develop our first program. Whenever you will put some letter, if it is a keyword, how you can put on the ABAP item through tab. If you want to give the default value, you can use the value keyword or you can assign like this also. Now, what is chain operator? Colon is the chain operator by which you can combine the statements. How you can display that data on the screen using the right statement. If you want to display the output in the new line, you have to use slash in the right statement. So these all are our learnings in this last three videos. Now we will proceed with new topics in the upcoming videos. Thank you.